Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Limited Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create an animated loading screen. Now, already on the simulator, an example of what we'll be creating today. Once we click onto our app, you see the loading starts animating. Say so loading done, and then once it's done, it loads up our app. There we go. So, how we're going to create this today is um, pretty simple as as Xcode doesn't really allow lo um, animated loading screens it allows you to import a default a default image as like a loading image kind of thing so when the application loads up it shows the default image and then once it's finished loading up it will get rid of the default image and bring up your application so what we're going to kind of do is go off that but it's going to load up default image and then once it's loaded the application an animation is going to carry on from the default image and then play until we bring up our application basically. So we're going to kind of fake an animated loading screen. So already in my project set up, it's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it loading screen animated for the purpose of this tutorial. Now as you can see I have a few image files on my uh, desktop here. There's seven all in total. If I just grab them and import them into the project. Make sure to copy items to, into um, destinations group folder. So what these are is basic um, images. So this will be our default image. And then once the, it's gone away, it will start playing an animation two, three, four, and five. As you can see, there's added dots on the end of loading. So as it's playing as an animation, it kind of looks like it's animated and it's like loading, if you know what I mean. And once it's finished um, playing the animation, it's going to fade out um, this image and then fade in, loading done. Then it will fade out, loading done, and leave us with our background image. So it sounds a little bit confusing, but we'll just get started and straight into it. So the first thing you need to do is add the default image. Now, as I'm going to be um, showing you on the iPhone simulator, which will be the non-retina version, all I'm simply going to do is just drag our um, default image, our, the first one we're going to use, i just drag and drop it onto um, kind of our launch image here, so just get rid of the preset one there, so I'll just delete that. So there you go, so if I just go to build and run now, just make sure that is working. So there you go then, you kind of basically seen it really quick and it disappeared there. Now as you can see we've got an error already on our default image but that is because the size of the image is a lot bigger than it's a retina image and I'm building it on a non-retina device so it's throwing a bit of image there so but it's only for the purpose of this, this tutorial anyway. So now we've got a default image that quickly loads up well shows when the application is loading up. What we need to do is add into our XIB we're going to need to add three image views. I'll explain why now. The first image view, if we put down, also if we just change it to the 3.5 screen there. So our first image view then, this is going to be our very last image. So this one will be displayed when that whole, when all the animations happen and this is what we'll be left with, this image here. So then if I just copy and paste it and then put this image view on top, this one will be our um, loading done image. So basically, so the animation is going to play. Then once it's played, it's going to fade out, and it's going to fade in this loading done. And then after about a second later, it's going to fade out the loading done, and then display our background image there. Now we just make our third image. Now this third one will be our actual animation image. So we want this to display our loading one. So a little bit confusing and there's a lot to take in, but I'll, you know, I'll talk you through it and we'll go through it step by step. So once you've got them, just save that and jump to our viewcontroller.h. Just after the UI view controller, do a bracket and press enter. We're going to add now two outlets, one for the an um, animation image and then one for the load um, loading done image to fade in and out. So what we do is ID outlet, UI image view, space asterisk and I'll name it animation 
um, image view. Seems really simple to understand there. And then the end time we do IB outlet again, URI image view. Space asterisk, and this will be our load image view. Make yeah, load image view. And now a semicolon. Now we're gonna to need to create three um, void delays. So the first one will be the animation playing. Second one will be to fade out the animation, and then fade in the uh, uh, loading the load um, done image. And then the third one will be to fade out the load done image. So we just do dash bracket void, and I'll just, I'll just give it simple names. Delay one. Let's make three of those. So three and then two. Let's save them. And we jump straight into our view controller.m. Where I'm just going to write out our delays now. So void delay one. Let's make sure all three there just to get rid of the error for not having them in. Two and three. So if you just save them then. So now we just need to link up in our outlets the image views. So our first one, which is at the very um, the very top here, which is our l1.png, which is click on it now. Our very first one, that our kind of our default image. Now this is our animation image. So if you drag and drop animation image view to our first one, and our load image is l6, which is are loading done. This will be the one that we're fading in and out. So drag that there. Now we don't need to add a outlet to our last one, our L7, which is our background image, as that will be the background image of our application, and we don't really want anything to kind of happen to that one. So then what we need to do is go to viewcontrol.m and we need to create an animation for when the um, view loads. So once the view loads, our animation image view dot animation um, images space equal space bracket ns array space array with um, objects now I'll just do an enter on this so you can type it out nicely so let's get rid of that line there and I'll retype it out so bracket UI image UI image, let me find the image there. Be right at the top, I think it will be. There we go. So UI image, image named, at symbol, quotation mark, quotation mark, and that of a bracket there, semicolon, and we do a comma, and then we do space, nil, bracket, and that with a semicolon. So I'm just going to do that now, and then we need to copy this line here up to the, uh, oh sorry, get rid of the semicolon there, sorry. Copy that line up there to the comma. And all together we've got four animation images. So there's one, two, three, and four. So your coding should look like this. So basically what's gonna happen, the animation will play um, an array of images, and the images will be l1.png, uh, l2.png, and the same for l3.png and finally l4.png. Now I'll play them in the list in like one after the other. And then we need to add the bracket animation image view space set animation duration. Uh, oh, not animation duration, sorry, we need to do animation re um, repeat count first. So it's only going to repeat once, meaning it's going to play once. If you set it to zero, it will play, it'll play constantly. Or if you set it to two, it will repeat itself twice before stopping. But we only want to do it once, so we just type in one there and have a semicolon. Then we do animation image view um, dot animation duration this time. Then we do space equals space. Now we're going to want it to display for a few seconds, so I'm going to do three. This means it's going to take the. Um, it's going to take three seconds basically to complete the animation start to end. And then we do enter, we do dash, and then um, bracket, sorry, animation image view 
again, and then we need to start animating to make it animate. So then if I go straight to uh, build and run now in the simulator, you can see now it loads up, it's playing dot dot dot, and then it's finished. So now we need to, um, in our first delay, is to fade out the animation image view. So I'm going to stop that now and then close the simulator. So when the view loads and it's played that animation, then we need to create a little delay action. So perform, um, select that. We need the one with, um, with object and after delay. There we go. So in the highlight section here, we do at selector, then we do delay one there, and then and at the bracket there, and then with object we do nil, then after delay, which will be how long it's going to take. So because the animation is taking three seconds, so in three seconds it's finished, and then obviously at the same time as it's finishing, three seconds in sync, it's going to activate delay one. Now what delay one is going to do is fade out our image view. So we do bracket UI view space begin animations and then the first high section nil and then the second one null and now we bracket there and then we do again bracket UI view space set animation duration And let's just give it a simple one second to complete the animation. Now we do bracket animation image view space set alpha. And we're going to set it to zero so it's completely transparent. And now we bracket semicolon. New enter and do UI view space commit animations and that array semicolon. So basically what's going to happen then, so the animation is going to happen in 3 seconds, it's going to be finished in 3 seconds, and at the same time, after 3 seconds, it's going to activate our delay 1, which is going to fade out our um, animated um, image view. So if we build and run that in a simulator and test it out, as you can see it's animating, and once it gets to the 4th one, it disappears out and it says loading done. Now we need to get change it, so on delay two, the load image, um, this image here, kind of fades in and then fades out. So it gives a nice effect and keeps the, it going quite nicely. So again, stop it and then close the simulator. So again, we've just copy the delay action here, paste it underneath here, and just change it to delay two. And this is going to happen a second after, as the animation finishes a second here. And then if we just copy the whole of this again, just to save us a bit of time with the coding, paste it in. We're going to want to change the name of the um, outlet here to load image view. And we're going to want it to, uh, instead of fading out, we want it to fade in. Now I want that to happen within one second. And then the delay it's going to play will be delay free. But we're going to want this one to happen a little bit longer, as if we have it a second, it's going to fade in and fade out really quick. You're not really going to be able to see it. So then if we just copy and paste our fading um, kind of code again, and this time we change it from 1 to 0. So basically what's going to happen now then, once it's uh, played the um, animation, and then it's going to fade out it, and then a second later, let me tell it here, it's going to fade in the image view, I mean the load image view in one second. And then once it's faded in, it's got half a second, and you've got 1.5 seconds here, so it's going to, half a second later, after it's like all completely done, it's going to stick around, and then it's going to fade back out, making it our animated load screen. Now what we haven't done so far is our load image view here, L6. We need to set that alpha, preset it to zero. Now the reason that is, because if we preset it to zero, when it comes to load in, it will load in. We don't want it already loaded in and then fade in because it's a pointless action. So we finally go and build and run this on the simulator now and it all should be working pretty perfect. And let's see our progress that we've made so far. So as you can see in the loading, loads up our fourth image, fades out, then brings in our loading done 
and then fades out our loading done. So that's a kind of how you kind of create a nice and simple and basic um, animated loading screen. But yeah, it was a little bit confusing and there's a, a, quite a lot of stuff going on. But it's just getting all the timings right and all the stuff all linked up nicely. And you can create perfect animated loading screens. So again, so, um, make sure you subscribe and if you haven't, make sure you um, like and favour the video as it really does help us out and gain us a wider audience. Um, like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Also check out all our apps by simply searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And again, once more, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next... Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.